What's up guys? Happy Friday and welcome to another vlog. We are picking up the vlog today on a Friday and have planned to do a little weekend vlog and see what we get up to for the weekend. We have been doing more of like the weekly vlog so it's been kind of like shorter clips of each day through the week but we thought this weekend it would be fun to kind of switch it up and focus just on what we get up to on the weekend. So it's Friday so we thought we'd start it today. Um, it's the nighttime and we figured we would go and see a movie. We've been wanting to go see Avatar for as soon as it came out and we've just been putting it off especially because it's a three hour movie so we just needed like a night that we had full three hours to go and like really enjoy it so we are going tonight we got the vip like tickets i think you can get wine and like different foods so we'll see leave in the comments below if any of you guys have seen avatar and if you enjoyed it because i know a lot of people have gone to see it so i feel a little left out i feel like it's been out for a long time but I think it's gonna be really good. Okay, I thought I would show you guys like my full styled outfit. This jacket I have been really loving. I got it from Pretty Little Thing. I have like a shorter version of it, but sometimes I love kind of just like a longer jacket, especially when it's colder out. And paired it with my sneakers and my Yankees ball cap because my hair is very greasy right now. And just this like little woven Bottega dupe. But yeah. That's we the fit. We always seem to end up being a Yankees baseball team. Oh, you're wearing yours too. I am. I gotta switch it up. I'm no, it's okay. Team. Mitch and I always end up wearing it. Both, like both of us are wearing it. And I swear we just really look like we love the Yankees. So. It's too much. I don't know why I'm doing but this. Go Yankees. Rocking all thrift store fit. All, this is what you got. Vlog. Yeah, in the last vlog. The jeans, they fit perfect. Here you can. kind of like. It's like velvety. I don't know what I was gonna ask for, but I'm just gonna show the fit. Mm -hmm. And I love these shoes. We got yeah, these shoes these in Paris. Yeah, these are so cool. And these are like my favorite shoes. So. Yeah, I love those shoes. Specific. Okay, we're at the theater. We're just gonna order some drinks first, but you can order food in the theater, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So we'll probably just get some food when we're in there. But we have like 20 minutes or so, so I'm gonna get a glass of wine. What are you gonna get? Um, I'm probably just gonna wait to eat and drink. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna get a drink. Yeah, that makes sense. I get a burger during the movie. I know, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. I've never done that before. To eat a burger at the movies yeah. is kinda... But we need to eat dinner. Yeah. Sometimes we'll go to the movies in the evening and we realize we literally had popcorn for dinner. And then you feel really weird the next day. Yeah, so maybe it'd be good we can get actual food when we're in the air Okay guys, we're pre-ordering our dinner and we were talking about how you have to get like We don't want to get something that's, that's going to fall apart because it's going to be dark. So yeah. We're going to get really solid things. Yes. Like, we're going to get uh, like pizza, we're gonna get a pizza and maybe and the chicken fingers. chicken fingers will be good with fries, right? I feel like that's sturdy. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Yeah. So I don't really go you know what you're getting into, yeah. right? Okay, let's do that. Okay, we just finished the movie. It was really good. Really I feel good. like I just don't remember the last time that I saw a three hour movie. It was long. My attention span is so bad. Like I actually had to really like wake myself up, but it was really good. It was, it was really good. I definitely recommend seeing it if you haven't seen it. Like it, the animation of it yeah. is so like It's really real. real. And it'll hit your heart too. Like yeah. there's sometimes I felt you're sad trying to hold back a tear. I was like kind of crying. It was really sad, but. Yeah, but it had a lot it of meaning really to it. I kind of want to dig into like the deeper meaning of yeah. the movie, but I had my own ideas of maybe like what yeah. it was about. But I don't want to give it away. But also, I feel like I always love when movies, like animated movies, are in water. Yeah, Is that it's weird? A, it's a different feeling. Like I love water stuff. The water like, animals, the whale. Yeah, all like that even stuff. documentaries in real life yeah. about water. So and it didn't. Like that. It didn't hurt that we had a pizza. Oh yeah, we didn't even get to fingers. show what we had. We ended up, yeah, we got it was actually the, pretty good. the Hawaiian pizza and the chicken tenders and fries. And it actually was such a hack to order it ahead of time. It was perfect. We ordered it in the restaurant and then they brought it. So we, but I guess it still didn't matter. Like it kind of- It was still a hack because you had to flag them down, but yeah, it was just so cool to like, just watch a movie and then like have chicken fingers. It was just a, It was really good. The food was actually good. If we're not I doing that now, I feel like we're doing it wrong. Like, I know. Now I only want to do it. Because usually you go for dinner and then go to a movie, but right. they're just bringing it in one. Yeah. So. No popcorn. No popcorn. But, but I didn't even mind. No. 
yeah. But it was great. It was, it was great. A really Definitely good recommend. Movie. It's like 11 o'clock now, so we're just gonna drive home. See Louis. See Louis and probably go to That's bed. That's Friday. That's the week. That's Friday for us, yeah. so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Saturday, guys. Mitch is on coffee duty as usual. We're getting it going. We slept in a little bit, not gonna lie, because we got home pretty late from the movie, but I am sad to realize I don't have my usual coffee pods for today. I usually use the Starbucks Pike Roast pods for Nespresso, but we don't have any left. So I'm gonna try something new today. Nespresso actually sent over a bunch of these for the holidays. So I think I'm gonna try this one. It's a double espresso, like I don't really need that, but it's the weekend. And kind of do like an Americano vibe, right? Yeah, shout out to my... TikTok sent Mitch over a package. He got some slippers. Slippers. They're pretty big. They're a little large, but you they know, work. I'll grow into them. <laughs> and what else was in your, your package? I'll show. They sent him a package from the music TikTok team. This wake up alarm clock, that's kind of cool and it has different like light settings on it. This, you can grow actual lavender. That's interesting. And actually, I feel like you will like this for the plane if we ever have overnight yeah, flights. That would be good for flights. Because I have one of those. Yeah. How is it? Because we have a lot of these pods left. Pretty smooth. It's no, good? It's actually good, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like, kind of like an Americano. Yeah, that's what uh, we were going for, right? Oh, I think this is too long, right? Like the bottom of a latte. The bottom of a latte? <laughs> like, because there's not much, like it's small. This is mine. It's teeny. I put it in this cute little cup. Let's try it. Mmm. It was first really hot. Whew. Yum. So, I did a double espresso with almond milk and a little bit of sugar, and it actually tastes really yummy. And they sent you that mug too, right? Yeah, this little mug they sent over with the package. It's cute. I did leg day yesterday, for anybody that knows who does leg day. And I can... Come on. Oh! I can barely sit. I feel like a grandpa, right here. I don't know what to say. What's up guys? So we are just getting ready to go out to Ikea. I thought I would show you guys my outfit. I have this black trench coat, my cargo jeans that I wore to the movies last night. Um, this little ribbed tank top, my mini Telfer bag, and my green Air Jordans. So yeah, really cute outfit. We just have a few things to get for our upstairs office, which we've still yet to show you guys, but we'll definitely show you in this vlog. We just have a few little organization things and touch-ups to get, but yeah, we're excited to finally have that space up there finished. It'll just open up another space for us to do work and that kind of thing. So we'll definitely bring you along to Ikea to see if we can find everything that we need. Okay guys, we made it to Ikea. We definitely don't need chairs, but I wanted to show you guys these chairs because this one's actually really cute, right? Or this one, I saw this one online and I really loved the shape of it. Kind of cool, right? Very yeah, modern. Like this one's kind of cool for outside. Yeah, I think that one might be outside too. Oh, it's an outdoor chair? Arm chairs. No, no I think it's, in, it's for a living room. But it's cool. It says new. It doesn't look very comfortable, but <laughs> looks very modern. Okay, so we basically need this like little cabinet type thing to just put junk in because our desk didn't come with any drawers. So what do you think about this? Or does it one, not look? No, this one's actually pretty perfect. There's other ones. There's like a smaller one over there too. But I, I guess it depends like on the the uh, dimensions if it's too wide. Yeah. Do you remember what yeah, the I have it. Is? I gotta look it up. So let me see these other ones. Because there's that one too. I don't really love the handles, but... Yeah. A little bit more sweet. Yeah. 
There's also this one, which looks like more modern, but is it gonna be too wide? Uh, it'll be okay. It's oh. short. Don't you think the other one matches better? I think the other one matches perfect. It's black brown though, but I feel like we won't really care about that. It's so dark in that room. Like, I think it'll fit. It'll fit perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Also got these like little bins. I want to organize everything under our bathroom um, sink because there's so much junk. Big, big coffee. All right, we got everything we needed. What's up, guys? So uh, we got back from IKEA and we honestly just chilled out. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty tired. Pretty tired. We have the Raptors game on, and I am just headed out for dinner now. So I'll show you guys my fabulous <laughs> dinner outfit. Thank you, Mitch. Very cool. Um, I got this blazer in Paris, which is really cool. It's kind of like deconstructed, and then I paired it with my favorite guess. Uh, leather pants, my Prada bag, and just some sneakers. Yeah, so just gonna meet up with my friend. I will try to maybe vlog a little bit of our dinner and what we get, but I probably won't be vlogging too much while we're there. Good morning guys and happy Sunday. It is the next day and I didn't get to vlog really much of my um, dinner with my friend because we were just catching up and sometimes I don't love to just take out the camera like when I'm out with friends. But I got a big package from Sephora. I just felt like I needed to refresh a bunch of my makeup. I know in the last vlog I was literally talking about how I'm not a makeup guru or anything like not super passionate about it. But what I will say is I have been trying to put more effort into my makeup lately which actually has been pretty fun. Like I have been enjoying doing my makeup, which I used to like kind of dread doing my makeup in the morning. Why is this not coming off? But anyways, I got a bunch of stuff from Sephora. So I thought I would show you guys what I picked up. Oh my God. Okay, so I just actually put this on, but this is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I literally love this CC cream. It feels like skin when you put it on. It's so lightweight and I especially love wearing this in the summer because it has SPF 50 built into it. Um, last time I got the illuminating one and it did kind of show up a little bit like sparkly. So with this one, I just got the regular like CC cream and I love it. I got it in the shade medium. It's like, pretty spot on in terms of shade for me. I would say it's like slightly dark, but I know it will be good for the summertime as well when I have a little bit more of a tan. I also picked up this Kosas Airbrow in medium brown. So I figured the days that like, I don't wanna fully like fill in my brows, this is perfect. Cause it has like a bit of like a tint to it. So those days like I'm like rushed go to Pilates like I just don't have time to like fully fill in my brows I figured this would be perfect I still have to kind of play around with it but I already actually noticed the difference when I've been using it like this is just with this right now and it pretty much filled in my brows so I really like this so far and then I got the born this way um, multi-use sculpting concealer and I've heard such good things about this concealer I literally just go to TikTok to figure out everything that I need to buy so this one everyone was talking about it so I got it in the shade shortbread I feel like it's a little tough sometimes to know what shade to get this one is like I'd say quite lighter than my um, foundation which is what I wanted so we'll see how that blends out. I also picked up a little concealer brush as well, which I needed because apparently you can only do so much with like a beauty blender with your concealer with like blending it out. I actually did get the one shade darker because it's tough sometimes to figure out your shade online, especially if you haven't picked up something similar to it before but i do feel like that actually blended really nicely 
Obviously, the lighting in here is pretty terrible. So, I don't even think you guys will really be able to see like the detail of what's happening right now, but at least I can tell you my first impressions of everything. So far, I do like that. Then I picked up these little sponges from Amazon. Another random TikTok purchase that everyone has been using for powder. So I actually have been using this a bit. And I do like it because it like gets right in there, you know? Rather than like using your beauty blender, which I feel like is tougher to kind of like get in the corner of your eye. Okay, so I also have the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand which I'm interested to see what this is like. I got it in the shade Fair Medium. And I saw mixed reviews of this on TikTok saying like it gets really kind of like the product really builds up on this little, the end of it, but other people saying they love it. So apparently you just squeeze it a bit. It's not focusing. And you just kind of go like that. So, we'll see how this kind of looks. I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to blend. So far, so good. Honestly, pretty good. Okay, and then I picked up the Rare Beauty, one of their liquid blushes in the shade Encourage. So. I've seen that a little goes a long way for these, so I'm not gonna put a lot at first because I just kind of want to see how it blends out. Oh yeah, a little does go a long way, but in a nice way. I usually use like this Makeup by Mario cream blush, but it's a little hard to blend, I find. So this is really nice. Like, I kept seeing this on TikTok, and I see why, like, it actually looks really nice on. Wow. Okay, I love that. That, for sure. I got a powder blush. I got the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. Because I needed just, like, a powder blush as well to kind of set over top. Oh, and I also picked this up from Amazon, by the way. This is the Real Techniques Instapop Face Brush. I feel like that looks really nice over top of it. Speaking of highlighter, because I was just about to do that. I also got the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand, the highlighter, in the shade, like, Illuminate or something. Is that what it's called? Oh, Spotlight. So it's the same kind of deal with the little sponge thing. So, just like squeeze it a bit. Oh, it's off. I always forget that. Wait. No, it's on. Yeah, so I can just like dot it. This also like shows up quite a bit. Like it's really pigmented. Now I'm just gonna blend that with my finger for this. I'll have to go downstairs and show you guys how it looks. For my nose, I'm just going to use a little brush to like blend this evenly. And now just doing my mascara. Okay, lately also I've been doing my eyeliner after I do my mascara, which I know is kind of backwards but I actually saw this trick from Alex Earl on TikTok that if you do your mascara first it kind of like allows you to see where your lashes are going anyways after they're done right. it's a little thick but it's okay Okay hey guys, then I also picked up a MAC 
lip liner in, stripped down. It's kind of like a, a brown color. And I picked up this Tower 28 clear gloss. Oh, there we go. Tower 28 clear gloss to go over top of a lip liner. I didn't really have any. But I heard this gloss is really nice. Which it is. I'm really happy with the turnout. Sometimes I do feel like I just look a little pale. Maybe it's just because of the winter. So I do add a bit of um, powdered. Just a bit of powder bronzer over top because a little bit more on my cheeks because I just feel so pale. Especially on camera, I feel like it makes me look paler than I even am. Okay, that's better. Okay guys, this is the finished makeup. I do really like the way it turned out. Okay, so our plan for today is to build the things we bought from Ikea. We're gonna do that right now. We well, left it go. in the car yesterday because we were so tired, we couldn't even go get it. Mm. So we made a obligation to ourselves that we'd start on Sunday. But yeah. I'm excited to show you guys upstairs. It's gonna make it so much more organized with this little cabinet and yeah, I think you guys are going to think the upstairs is kind of cool. I know. I guess we didn't really show up before, though. I did take yeah. a picture, so maybe I can dig it up into my camera roll and put a picture of the before, like the little video I took, because it's completely transformed. So you guys didn't really know what it looked like before, but it's okay. I can try to dig that up so you know what we've done to it. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Mitch is probably going to be building Well, I... That's okay. You it's know. not that much building, is it? No, we're it's literally just a cabinet. A cabinet together. And we got some curtains to go yeah. up, so. Are we putting those up today? Because I know you said you might want to wait for that. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. So that's the plan. All right, Mitch is making progress. But why is there so many parts for a little cabinet? I don't know why I thought it would just be like. Easy. Sometimes with IKEA stuff, it's like that. It's either really easy or not at all. So, but it's coming together. Here we go. Starting to look like a cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so while Mish was building the new cabinet, I decided to pull apart the entire bathroom and reorganize everything. And I am immediately regretting that choice because I just have no energy to do this. But now that I've started, I just have myself in a little bit of a hole now. So, that is just the reality of my current situation. But I had these organizers from Winners, I believe, or HomeSense for a while. But I feel like over time, I was just collecting a lot of makeup from PR and stuff like that that I don't even use. So now, literally everything that's in the drawer space is stuff that I use. So it's going to make it a lot easier to actually grab the things that I, I use. So those are all organized, but I have just like all this random other crap. I bought some bins to go under here. So a lot of it can go in the bins, but like there's just so much crap everywhere so we desperately needed some lunch a little bit of a lunch break from all of the building we uber eats a sandwich from our favorite place broad flower this is where we get our multi-grain bread too we've showed this place a couple times on the vlog but so we picked up some multi-grain bread for the week our favorite turkey sandwich a brownie which we've never tried yet but i was too tempted and some green juice because just need some greenness in my life <laughs> so we're going to do that and you need a break from the building it's almost done oh yeah i just need to do it's the other drawers one more shelf nice it's right here perfect yeah, it's done. 
is a bit of a chaotic vlog just because today we we're just literally trying to get everything organized and tidied up and built and all of that so we've just been doing that right now and i went through all of my bathroom stuff that'll be way easier to just get everything out from the bins and then i organized all of my makeup in here it's not the most organized but i have all of my brushes and then like concealer foundations lipsticks and like just like my mascara brow stuff and my blush and highlighters so that is just all of the makeup that i use i don't like to keep stuff that i'm not using so this is going to be way easier just to do my makeup like this and we will see what mitch is up to in here okay so you're catching us literally in the middle of decorating it here but i put these up here yeah so Behind here, I've actually never showed you guys this upstairs area, but we have our washer and dryer here, but we never had this curtain. So it just kind of looked a little sometimes like messy, just having it all open into the office space. So yeah, we're just building everything. Sorry if the music is kind of loud, um, but we built this cabinet to put stuff in there and we're thinking of putting another curtain across here so, like so that it can see. be like a whole separate room yeah. to divide it so that's what we're doing and it's kind of a soundproofing like then i can be in there if i'm singing yeah. or whatever you can't you can't you won't be able to much. hear anything yeah the sound won't bounce yeah so. but it's a little messy like all the cords we have to figure out a way to like this hide the cords yeah it's like, it's it looks kind of like all but. over the place but we hung Mitch's guitars and there's like some little Amazon gadgets I'll definitely have to show you guys when we put it all together. Bad so it, it's come a long way for sure. Yeah. All right guys, just wanted to show you the more tidied version of the office. So we put up the two curtains. So this one will go across here if we just want to block off the office area. And then this one, as we showed you guys, is blocking the laundry, which is really nice because to be honest, I hate looking at it especially when i have a lot of laundry to do so that's nice and so when you walk in we have this little rug we got this chair on amazon the desk is from ikea and this woven rug is also from amazon i got this laptop stand from amazon as well this light also is really cool so you can change the brightness of it and you can also put your phone on the bottom part to charge your phone. I also got this little stand for my headphones. Just kind of keeps things a little more organized. So our goal now with this space is to figure out how to hide a lot of the cords. So I know there's some things on Amazon that you guys actually sent me over on Instagram stories that you recommended that I can like kind of hide the cords up at the top and hook them around so definitely that's our next plan of action for this and then we need to figure out some kind of painting or just something to fill up this space here and give it a little bit more just character in here because it's pretty just kind of stock but we are really happy with it honestly like this was nothing before like when we moved in here they used this just for storage and kind of more of like a closet so we fully just kind of made it our own space and made it into a little office just to make use of the space especially living in a condo you kind of have to make the most of the space so um, we're happy with this because we didn't have an office before and if we had kind of kept what they had it literally would have just been like a storage room so um, we basically made a whole other room out of this little area. Okay guys, it is like 7 o'clock and we ordered Chinese food from our favorite spot. It's called Bamboo Buddha. We used to live close to this spot and it's just so good. It's the best. <laughs> yeah. And we're celebrating Mitch's three years being sober. Yes. And Chinese food is his favorite food. Absolute favorite. It's my guilty pleasure. So we had to get whatever his choice was, which was Chinese food. Usually happens on my birthday, and yeah. then this is like we we're considering this part food. of it. On your birthday. 
yeah, and she's been sober for three years. No alcohol, nothing. Nope. Which was a choice he made. Yeah, it's it's been a huge part of my life and now our life because it kind of affects both of ours. But when we met, we met like in university and we were drinking a lot more back then. Mm -hmm. And we've had a period of our life where alcohol was in it pretty heavily. Mm -hmm. and, um, and now it's not. And it's, I think it's been a great change. It's and a huge he, thing. It's a huge accomplishment. Like three years is a long time. Thanks, yeah. And yeah, and I don't drink a lot. Like I drink more as a social thing. If anything, I don't really just like drink here at home. So it does pair well together, like how yeah. we actually are authentically around alcohol. So anybody out there trying to, you know, better themselves, just know. It's not easy. You but got this. Yeah. It's a different journey for everybody. Yeah. But I'm sending good vibes to anybody who is. So we're just going to have this Chinese food and just enjoy the rest of the night. Honestly, um, I know this vlog has been a little all over the place, but we tried our best. Okay, so what we ordered was some general Tao chicken, which it's is really our good for favorite. Me. We always order general Tao whenever we order Chinese food. Oops, sorry, it's a little hard to open. Yum. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. And then we got some chicken fried rice. Wow. Yum. And some Cantonese chow mein. Wow. Actually, the last time we had Chinese food was New Year's. Remember we ordered when we were at the cabin? Oh, yes. That would have been the last time. I didn't even realize. It wasn't that long ago, but. No, that wasn't. It still felt like a while ago. Oh, and we got some spring rolls. Because it wasn't from this place. This place is yeah. just. That spot was good, but it's this the spot. Is not... Bamboo Buddha. The Anybody who's in Toronto, this is the spot. This one. This is the spread. Looks so good. So we hope you guys liked coming along for our weekend. Very typical weekend for us, um, rather than the full week vlog. But we will see you guys for the next week's next week, vlog, which will start tomorrow. Which we will start tomorrow probably, yeah. and do more of a weekly vlog this time. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.